Hi, I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic, and today I'm going to do a, a guided reading on Mitch McConnell. So before we start, I wanted to read a little paragraph by um, Earth Love Fall, and it's from the Daily Sound and Fury, April 16th of this year, 2019. The state of Kentucky is getting a new aluminum mill built, the first in 40 years. That's the good news. The bad news is that Russian oligarch Oleg Deripaska, Paul Manafort's crony, is one of the financers to the tune of $200 million. Deripaska's company Rusal is the world's second largest producer of raw aluminum. Since Mitch McConnell stopped the Democrats from reimposing sanctions on Deripaska, one could reasonably infer that the aluminum mill is McConnell's payoff. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, <laughs> there's so much on Mitch McConnell that I, I thought, you know, you know, I would maybe like the last video on, um, Lindsey Graham, like read a longer article, um, but there's just so much. And then his wife, Elaine Chow, that's a, that's another thing. And I'm going to, I decided I'm going to do a reading on her. Um, so I think, um. Uh, we can get into the reading, um, but I would advise you to Google Mitch McConnell and his ties with Russia. Um, I mean, he obstructed um, the attempt to, uh, um, oh gosh, I guess I'll just read this. <laughs> anyway, uh, this other paragraph and then we'll start. Okay. Um, this is from the Blue Daily or the Blue Dot Daily. It's, uh, I found it online in this article from March 31st. 2018, and this is from Christopher Powell. Uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is apparently more deeply involved in the Russian attempts to influence the U.S. election than previously thought. While many of his fellow Republicans are called or are called for a bipartisan investigation into the tampering, it appears that McConnell has known about it for a very long time. According to the Washington Post report on the intelligence community's role in, in this, quote. Intelligence agencies have identified individuals with connections to the Russian government who provided WikiLeaks with thousands of hacked emails from the Democratic National Committee and others, including Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, according to U.S. officials. These officials describe the individual actors uh, known to the intelligence community and part of a, a wider Russian oper operation to boost Trump and hurt Clinton's chan uh, chances. Our intelligence agencies knew this happened, and the passage above is only scratching the surface. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's not the biased left-wing media. It's actual U.S. intelligence agencies saying they know it happened. That didn't stop McConnell from threatening President Obama. Um, Though, quote, the Democratic leaders in the room unanimously agreed on the need to take the threat seriously. Republicans, however, were divided with at least two GOP lawmakers reluctant to accede to the White House requests. According to several officials, McConnell raised doubts about the underlying intelligence and made clear to administ the administration that he would consider any effort by the White House to challenge the Russians publicly an act of partisan politics. Some of the Republicans in the uh, briefing also seemed opposed to the idea of going public with such explosive allegations in the final stages of an election, a move that they argued would only rattle public confidence and play into Moscow's hands. McConnell's office did not respond to a request for comment. After the election, Trump chose McConnell's wife, Elaine Chow, as his nominee for transportation secretary. But simply, McConnell threatened Obama and his administration as if, if they exposed the Russian scandal. Sorry, allergies. <laughs> okay, are we here? Um, oh, this is so shocking. It should have been more shocking. I, I think I remember kind of hearing about it, and, and yet, you know, I, I don't know why we were, our hands were so tied. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll start again. McConnell's office did not respond to a request for comment. 
After the election, Trump chose McConnell's wife, Elaine Chao, as his nominee for transportation secretary. Put simply, McConnell threatened Obama and his administration that he, uh, if he exposed the Russian scandal. The Trump team responded with the following statement. These are, and this is all in caps. <laughs> this is a quote, direct quote, quote, probably a tweet. These are the same people that said Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Uh, the election ended a long time ago in one of the biggest electoral college victories in history. <laughs> it's now time to move on and make America great again, unquote. Where do we start pointing the lies out in this statement? First, it was Bush's Republican administration leading the charge in the Saddam has um, WMD's fiasco. It certainly was. Second, Trump did not win in one of the largest, biggest electoral college victories in history. That has been thoroughly debunked. In fact, there were only 12 elections in US history with a smaller electoral vote gap. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, um, so let's see what my guide said. So again, uh, or I, as I say in other videos, I want to um, uh, point out that I don't uh, shuffle the deck and choose these cards from my tarot deck. I um, ask my guides to give me the cards and they give them to me psychically, and then I just fish them out of the deck, and then I ask them why they chose those cards. And I tell you what I hear. Um, uh, or I think I hear. Um, so uh, I oh I use the uh, Sarah Sarah Marchetti cards, uh, the Gilded Tarot. Okay. So the first card <laughs> is the Death card. So I can see Mitch McConnell in this card pretty clearly. And as I recall, like um, uh, he's, he, he, one of his nicknames is the Grim Reaper. Um, so I asked my guides uh, what this card meant. And they said, um, Mitch McConnell wants to end the US democracy as we know it and introduce fascism. He wants to bring death to the United States democracy, the constitution, and all independent branches of the government, including the Supreme Court. He does not want uh, to have or believe in a system of checks and balances. He believes in an oligarchic dictatorship, which has secured, um, which he has secured a place in. So he's part of that. And that's what he's working towards. Above is the King of Swords. Um, he sits on a, a throne as the Senate Majority Leader, and he has sat there since 2015. Um, and I'm, I'm, by the way, um, I, I'm looking at my notes um, that I took when I asked my guides about these cards. If you wonder why, I keep on looking over uh, to the side here. Um, he perceives himself as the king, king of the Senate. He sub his subjects bend to his will. You know, like when he said, uh, there's going to be no, you know, we're going to move forward. We're not going to look at the um, Mueller investigation anymore. That is closed. That case is closed. That was a command. He was the king giving that command. Um, he uh, uh, rules with rigid authority. He demands absolute control. His will be done. Uh, and the card represents the authoritarian in this reading. So in the recent past, the Five of Swords came up. So when I asked my guides about that, um, they said this represents Mitch McConnell's past victories in the Senate majority, oh, as the Senate majority leader blocking Merrick Garland's uh, nominations to the Supreme, uh, nomination to the Supreme Court, which he said was like a really strategic victory that, that kind of allowed everything else that, that's happening now to happen, or potentially, hopefully not, but what he would like to happen. That was a, um, his, a huge victory for him. Um, getting the tax cut pass for the 1%. Um, 
and getting right-wing federal judges appointed. And also, um, I, I would imagine, uh, uh, you know, um, obstructing uh, even in 2016, uh, um, you know, the Senate looking, or, or prior to that, uh, obstructing the Senate from being able to look into Russian interference. These are his victories. Um, his victories, my God said, are predicated on the suffering of others. So, so below <laughs> is the Ten of Pentacles, and oh, there's Mitch, the little turtle there. Do you see? <laughs> yes, that's Mitch McConnell. Um, that's his motivation. That's he's a greedy, greedy guy. Um, so yeah, the turtle represents Mitch and his absolute greed. His main motivator, there's never enough. I asked, well, where does he get his money? And they said, um, money from Russia, you know, the oligarchs, just like the, like the aluminum factory. Um, or, well, that's not directly him, but it's, it's, it will come to him or allow his reelection or whatever. Money from China, money from investments. He's invested in the migrant camps, the weapons industry, the oil industry, including uh, pipelines and the pharmaceutical industries, among others. In the near future, the Nine of Wands, so that's Mitch McConnell. So I asked my guides, well, what does this card mean? And they said, this is Mitch McConnell subjugating himself to a higher authority, which will be the new Democratic Senate. Woohoo! <laughs> that was made me so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, that's he's uh, giving over his wand of control. He's no longer the Senate majority um, uh, leader. He's, uh, he's got to acquiesce to the Democrats. Oh my God, I so hope this comes true. I can't even tell you. I know we all do, but oh my God, can you imagine? Mm. There you go. So, oh, and of course, this had to come up in a reading about uh, somebody connected with Trump and the GOP. The clarifying card, the devil. Uh, my guide said, uh, this card represents Mitch McConnell burning in hell. He has submitted himself to the devil completely. I think, I don't think you can be involved in this, in the Trump administration without doing this either literally or metaphorically you it can't be just partially it has to be 100 percent or there's problems you have to be all in so the outcome card <laughs> wait for it <laughs> uh is the justice card Woohoo! again <laughs> so this comes up too um okay so i asked my guides what about this card and they said this is justice shining the light on Mitch McConnell. And, there, and so Mitch McConnell is represented by this sun right here. You know, we're all suns with, um, you know, um, satellites and, uh, uh, revolving around us. We all, you know, our, our, um, our light on the planet, our, our sun ego, um, our, um, our personality, you know, our, our individuality, I should say. And that's, that's, so that's Mitch McConnell. And you notice justice is much <laughs> bigger than the, him. Um, and uh, uh, the sun represents Mitch, what is getting revealed in the unredacted um, Mueller report and the other investigations going on. My guides say, in the end, justice will be victorious. So again, they say, see, the sun is small compared to justice. Justice is going to shine the light on Mitch McConnell and reveal all. And he, as much as he thinks he's in control and he's the master, he's really only, only this, the justice. So that was an interesting reading. Um, uh, I, um, uh, you know, wonder, he's so, I don't know, there's Mitch McConnell, he's so, um, 
just his his persona or his uh um he, it seems like he's 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 just like a wall of concrete or something like where is the real person there um and uh he is like a turtle because he you know works really slowly but he sure as hell gets a lot of things done uh, not good things but he uh, has uh, that um ability you know to just kind of work probably many times behind the scenes and you know uh, um uh, get the will of the GOP and uh, 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 Trump carried out. So uh, this is an interesting reading, as they all are. And um, I will look forward to doing another reading soon. And I hope everybody is having a, a good day. This uh, uh, Today is um, May 19th, 2019, and it is uh, Sunday. And uh, I, I was hoping that the weather would be sunnier, <laughs> I would get out in my garden, but it's kind of overcast. But on the other hand, that gives me an excuse not to have to do much manual work today. I think I might just hang out today. So uh, um, I look forward to the, the next reading. Um, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my page. And I uh, also I do pri uh, private readings. Um, and uh, I... Uh, We'll leave the information below. I have a Facebook page, and I'd love it if you like that page, called Sacred Fire Psychic Readings. And you can get in touch with me through that page, and also I'll, I'll give you the other um, uh, ways to, to contact me. So um, that being said, enjoy your day or night or wherever this finds you. Till the next time.